Hello. Today, I'd like to discuss a little bit about the intentions when we're bringing in the energy into the crystal lights or the crystal bed system. Uh, intention is something that we project into the energy around us and it's creating a expression of who we are and what we're wanting out into the field around us which is then being picked up by whatever's around us and being brought back in now really when we're dealing with crystals the crystal bed and the crystal lights these crystals are really amplifiers and so what they're doing is taking energy and amplifying it and it's creating a feedback loop within our bodies so when we add intention into that feedback loop what's happening is our expression of what we're wanting the intention is going into the crystal the crystal is receiving it it's amplifying it through the light through the magnetics if you have a crystal bed through the frequencies and the magnetic coils uh, through the ultraviolet and the infrared and also the organite and so these are all being amplified into it we're also getting galactic information coming down from above and it's being fed into our bodies as a feedback loop because once again we just created intention it's going into the crystal and going into our chakras uh, what I usually tell people is that when you're creating an intention focus and picture on the crystals say hello to them and with the intention verbally speak it and this is really important because when we speak we're creating vibrations in the air those vibrations are going into the crystals vibrating them with what it is that we're doing it's also becoming an auditory thing where we're speaking it's being heard by our bodies our cell is then picking it up cells are picking it up and saying oh yeah you just said something what was that oh you're talking to us intention so one of the um, best in ways to make an intention in my opinion is to create something as if it's already happened and that way you are creating like a vacuum for the energies to come in because it may not have occurred already but you're creating an intention like it has thank you body for working perfectly i may have a broken leg or something in that moment that i spoke it but my body heard working perfectly wow okay i've got to do something about this crystals help me out here so what happens is we create this this energetic signature this handshake if you will with the crystals they're then starting to work with you also another great bit of information with this is to not only speak it but feel it do everything include all of your senses into this expression of an intention so feel it hear it even taste it or see it all these different attributes of our senses bring them into it and involve them in it and so when you create it it's as if it's already happened it's a truth do it with a hundred percent certainty and I guarantee you you will have changes what's going on with the crystals is that they're talking in a quantum language in a language and an expression that's higher dimensional than just 3d and so we've got the ability to transcend this regular 3d way of thinking and they're going in and they're talking to the cells because what we're doing as especially with the crystal bed is we're creating specific vibrations we're creating frequencies we're creating um, light scalar energy magnetics and it's all going in to create a state of preparedness a state of awakening it's like a flower blossoming our bodies become the flower blossoming allowing the energies to come in um, with the crystal lights obviously we don't have vibration and we don't have the frequency so it's not quite as potent that's something that you know you need more time with it then um, the uh, expressions that we've encountered are um, such that some people have had instantaneous change other people may have wished for something or intended upon something and in order to get that the 
the body or whatever it was that they've asked for, something else had to clear in their field. So in order for me to have a perfectly functioning microbiome, guess what? I'm having a lot of emotions coming up. A lot of deep-seated old angers, fears, whatever it may be, that have been stuck in those cells that are right in that gut area. And they're coming up for me to be, um, to work through and, and release and things like that. So you're going to have some shifts that go on that may not be directly related to what you thought they were. But when you tune in, you're like, aha, sure. Just as if we're moving too fast and we stub our toe. Our body was like, dude, you got to slow down. I just gave you a warning. I stubbed your toe so you would slow down. The same things are going on. You know, we may be wanting something else, but something else is happening over here. And that is the way of the quantum, the multidimensional state. We don't understand everything. We don't understand how this all works. However, I do have a very good grasp on um, when we give our bodies specific things, the frequencies, the vibrations, the light attributes, the magnetics, give them all in a consistent pattern and include the intentions, include the crystals, include the scalar energy. What happens is it does really make some big shifts. And if you can get a client on the bed or yourself on the bed or the crystal lights consistently for a month, for at least 32 days, um, consistently meaning two to three times a week, they're going to have a huge shift because what's going to happen is within that time frame, every single cell in the body is going to regenerate. And when it regenerates, it's going to have those new frequencies put in place. And therefore, the vibration raises in the body. And so thank you for that time. Enjoy.